A Chicago artist is considering his options. He's angry about his mural. It was painted over by the city's graffiti blasters. CBS2 chief correspondent Jay Levine is here. And Jay, the mayor walked right into this controversy today, didn't he? Rob, round two of the artist versus the alderman on a controversy over a mural painted on a Bridgeport garage. The alderman feared it could incite violence, but most everyone else agrees the way it was dealt with was wrong. It was a mistake. People do... Well, we just find out. No, no, we just it was a mistake. We'll find out. It's not that serious. It's completely, still utterly baffling to me. Ed Marzuski's family owns the building and commissioned the mural, painted by local artist Gabriel Villa, before the city's graffiti busters covered up two weeks of work in a matter of minutes, after a call from 11th Ward Alderman James Balser. The supervisor then said, well, then I called the alderman and said, look, this isn't graffiti, this is public art. Maybe we shouldn't paint over it. And then... He was told that he had to paint over the, uh, the, the mural. Told by who? By the alderman. It's just one mistake. It's a mistake. I'm, just, I'm sorry. This is not the end of the world. The mayor used the word mistake ten times, but neither he nor anyone else has explained what that mistake was. Streets and Sanitation called it miscommunication, said someone received disciplinary action. But who and for what? Carrying out an order given by an alderman? He's actually put the spotlight on the whole matter, which... I don't think my mural, I don't think any mural could have had that much um, impact. As the artist and I talked, a longtime Bridgeport resident, my name is Robin. who had problems with the depictions of the crucifix and skull on the mural, joined the conversation. He doesn't care what I think. No, I mean, and I do respect care. you. No, no, you know what? You I'm, know, uh, I'm a very. Any time I, I that love you, no, anytime you put a. Uh, any kind. But anytime you put an image in public. Bottom it's up line, for, Gabe, it's, bottom line. Yeah. You're right. If there is no law that states that you need a permit to do that, then they should have left it alone. Mm -hmm. Tonight, as the mural meant to raise the issue of surveillance in society remains just a memory, the artist is asking for an apology from Alderman Balser and a new mural. It'd be nice if maybe he looked for a wall, a public wall, and maybe commissioned at his own expense a wall that addresses freedom of speech. Alderman Balser's response to the request for an apology? Never, he told me today. We've learned that he and the artist did talk by phone, but did little more than agree to disagree on everything except the action taken against that city worker. Both consider him an innocent victim who should not have been disciplined. Rob? Yeah, and it was unbelievable to hear that last night that this, this uh, streets and sand worker was being disciplined when the alderman had said, you know, do this. They've got their story together. We went looking for him today at the place where he works. We know his name. We're not revealing it because they haven't. Uh, he was nowhere to be found. But they did have a note giving us the number for the public relations person for the Department of Streets and Sanitation. Okay. Well, we got something us. there. All right, Jay. Thanks.